another episode of Kay's Case Tech Talk. I'm David Collins. And I'm Leah Moore. Today we are going to be talking about the iPhone 5S and its unfortunate delay. Currently, the news isn't completely official, but the likelihood is high. The iPhone 5S's launch is going to be delayed until the end of this year. Reasoning behind the delay is likely due to an increase in the smartphone screen size. The iPhone 5 has a 4-inch screen, but the 5S is likely to be modified to have a 4.3-inch screen. Apple's competition in the smartphone race has been diversifying their newest models by offering options for all types of consumers. Business speculators are sure that if Apple doesn't adjust the policies on their phone to include more options like larger screens and more affordable pricing, Apple will fall behind. Apple seems to have a retort to these speculations. There have been quite a few rumors about an affordable, possibly mini, version of the new iPhone. Not only that, but the new phones are being built with a new type of metal for highly increased durability, likely to combat with the Galaxy S4 Active. Other than these factors, no reports have opened up on the iPhone 6. The major focus has been on the iPhone 5S and the unnamed affordable version of the iPhone. But since the iPhone 5S has been delayed, Apple likely has something up their sleeves to, con to keep consumers happy for a while. The only question what is, what will it be? So even though the iPhone 5S and the unnamed budget phone are possibly going to be delayed, we still have cases that we've made for them. Like for the budget phone, we've already come out with our classic hard shell slim case. It's really scratch protectant. It has the edge corners here so that you can barely even tell that it's on your phone. And we have a brand new design that we came up with specifically to push things forward with our company. It's really exciting that we're going through with this. We have a TPU case, the really soft gel case that we have, but with a new bumper that we added onto it so that you get more protection, but it's still slim and you can barely tell that it's on your phone. And of course, we still have our classic armor box case. You should be familiar with this. It has a little stand on the back so that you can stand up your phone and it gives a whole lot of protection to all areas as you can see here. And for the iPhone 5S we have come out with a case that's very similar to the book. It opens up like so and it has a really interesting color combination and it's very thin. It's a lot thinner than the book but it still functions in the same way. It has the stand and I have another color right here and it, also it fits the iPhone 5 because the 5S is supposed to be all the same dimensions so it fits in. You can see what it looks like and functions just like that, just like so. So look forward to those and let us know what you think of the new cases and um, what you think about the rumors. Yeah, well, you never know, the phone might still come out at the same time, but either way, they're going to be coming out with these two phones. Let us know what you think about the rumored Apple postponing the release of the iPhone 5S. What do you think they'll release first, and are there going to be any surprise pieces of hardware released this year? And don't forget to like and subscribe for more weekly videos. Thanks for watching everyone, I'm Leah Moore. And I'm David Collins for Case Case Study.